じゃるかお前らにはどいてもらう Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Where today, guys, I am back on One Piece Banner Rush to bring you guys another gameplay video. Where today, guys, I'm gonna be doing gameplay on my five star boost to Serpent S Snake. Okay, this character don't need much introduction. We all know this by now. S Snake is currently the best defender in the game right now. Well, that's what most people say. Me personally, I find Whitebeard to still be number one. That guy is will always be annoying in my books. His little shield gimmick is really annoying to deal with, and he hits insane amounts of damage for a defender. Overall, I just find Whitebeard to be extremely annoying to fight. I'd rather fight S Snake than Whitebeard, but that's my personal opinion, though. But like everyone has been saying, she's currently the best defender in the game right now, and for good reasons, too. S Snake is extremely annoying, and she makes it almost impossible to grab the flag. I mean, we have matches to we're having matches to where the millisecond S Snake is at mid. You kind of lost the match. It's, it's, it's almost impossible to grab that flag off her. However, when there's an EX character, there's always a counter. Be careful of your counters. One of the main counters is Sanji. Onigashima Sanji. That guy can destroy you real easily. S-Snake stands absolutely no chance against Sanji. So, this is my best advice. If you are fighting Sanji, and you know for a fact... No one's going to be able to come help you. Just stall. Either run away or stall him out. Just stall out the timer, right? That's that's the best advice I can give you. Because you you're not winning that fight. I'm going to be honest with you here. But, yeah. Let's move on to the metal skills and traits to see what S-Nick is capable of. Although, I'm pretty sure most of you do know what she's capable of. So, don't worry. I, have a, I had a timestamp. You probably skipped ahead right now. If you didn't, if you want to see what she's capable of, let's go into it. So for medals, I'm going to be rocking. You'll be rocking a medal set that I'm working on right now. I'm talking about the third medal. The other two are perfectly fine. But medal sets are Gear 5 medal and 3 Captains Luffy medal. Mm, excuse me. Providing some skill 1 and 2 cooldown. Capture speed. When we are losing, I increase my damage by 7%. When allies are not near the treasure that I'm at, I increase my damage by 7%. When I knock back an enemy, I recover 3% HP. And lastly, when I'm in a treasure area, I reduce the MC by 3%. For stats, we're focusing on HP, defense, and we have some attack there. Not a lot, though. Just mainly focus on HP and defense, because she is a defender after all. Character boost is fully boost, too, as per usual. Let's move on to the skills, shall we? Skill 1, don't touch me, you oaf. This is a mid-range, multi-hitting area attack. That has a chance to inflict entrance. The chance is 100%, and entrance lasts for 5 seconds. This skill will knock the enemies back if entrance cannot be inflicted. For those who don't know, Entrance is the status effect that turns you into stone. And this skill also ignores damage reduction. So if you're fighting someone that relies on that, this skill will probably shred their health down really easily. This skill has a 24 second cooldown. There's not much to say about it, to be honest. However, you will be using this skill a lot due to one of Snake's traits, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, skill 2, Love Love Mellow. This is a long-range air attack that deals a knockback effect if Entrance cannot be inflicted, which this skill can inflict Entrance, by the way. The Entrance has a last for 5 seconds. This skill also ignores damage reduction, so both skills ignore damage reduction. Pretty deadly. Again, this will knock them back if Entrance cannot be inflicted. This skill increases damage against runners by 100%, so you're fighting a runner. This will probably one-shot them most of the time. This skill has a 31 second cooldown and it also does turn her invincible as well because of course she's an EX character that is every EX character has an invincibility skill. It's annoying but that's how they do it. Alright let's move on to the traits. Character traits. You can ignore the enemy and refill the treasure gauge and you can charge the treasure gauge to 150%. This is a typical EX defender trait. I think every the EX defender main knows this. When attacking an enemy with skill 1, you remove any sort of status effects that are inflicted on you and afterwards you can dodge 3 times without taking any sort of damage and also nullify status effects inflicted by enemies. To put it shortly, when landing skill 1, you're invincible up to 3 hits. After 3 hits are dove, dealt, that's it, you're vulnerable to damage again. After holding down the first hit of your normal attack, the second hit changes and you will teleport to the flag furthest away from you. 
Yeah, this is just Momonosuke's teleport on steroids. You can just spam this crap. There's no limitations or anything. You can just spam the frick out of it. <laughs> this is extremely annoying. This is how S Snake is just dominating League right now. Because you got someone like Hyvercado that teleports. S Snake can just follow him and just stop him. <laughs> it's so annoying. This character is extremely annoying. I don't know why Bondi thought this was a good idea for a trait. But it's Bondi. You know they're going to be thinking of stupidly overpowered traits. When dealing damage with the third heavy or normal attack, you knock back the enemies. This is a trait that I think every defender should have, honestly. It's a very good trait, especially now in the meta. Trait 1. When in the treasure area, you resist stagger, knock back, and you nullify status effects inflicted by enemies. Now, the key word here is D. It doesn't say yours. It says D. Treasure area. So you can be in your treasure area. You can be in the enemy's treasure area. You can be in a treasure area that's not even been captured yet. Just by being in there, you resist stagger, knock back, and you nullify status effects. That is a outrageous trait. <laughs> when attacked by an enemy who's using a skill, you re remove their attack increase, and you also reduce the enemy's attack by 30% for 10 seconds. This is a very good trait against anyone that can stack their attack against you or whatnot and just makes them weaker so you're harder to kill in other words when an enemy begins capturing a treasure that you are in reduce the cooldown time of skill one by 50 percent and recover 50 percent hp i love this trait a lot this counters that annoying nuisance of a trait ignore the enemy and capture the treasure this is amazing i love this trait a lot hopefully we have we have more defenders with this trait because i absolutely despise that trait with every sense of being i freaking hate that trade you couldn't tell already and roger is doing that crap casually but don't worry s snake is a counter to that <laughs> when in the treasure area there's the keyword again the treasure area reduce damage received by 30 percent and increase normal attack damage by 50 percent that's i believe that's where most of your damage is going to be coming from just doing your normal attacks she hits really hard if you're if you're in a treasure area of course when attacking a runner, you remove their defense increase. This is obviously for Claw. Claw just gets countered hard by her because she will just get rid of your defense increase. Now, you can get rid of Gear 5's defense increase as well if he's in his def runner form. If he's not in his runner form, then don't even bother. I mean, if you're fighting Gear 5, you'll probably will lose that fight if you can't get rid of his defense. And last but not least, when attacked by an enemy who is parameter boosted, you remove any sort of status effects they have inflicted on themselves. This is for, you guessed it, Film Red Shanks. Film Red Shanks can't do swash against her, to be honest. I fought so many of them, and I've not seen a single one that actually killed me. So, yeah. Unless the Film Red Shanks player is smart, he'll actually, he probably could take you out. But, I think it's probably just a 50-50, but, well, no, it's not It's not a 50-50. It's a 25-75. Film Red Shanks is at 25, and S Snake is at 75. And she has a pretty unique boost trait as well. When attacking an enemy with a skill, you recover 5% HP for each hit. So your main way of healing is going to be landing skill 1 since this does multi-hit. You, I believe this hits 5 times, I believe. 5 times. So yeah, so 5 times 5, that's like 25% HP recovery. Pretty good, you know. And yeah, guys, that's S Snake. Again, a very annoying defender. If you have her, good. She will definitely carry you right now in League. I mean, I only summon for her. The only reason I summon for her is because she was a blue defender. If she was a red defender or green defender, I would have not even went. If she was a blue attacker or blue runner, I would have not rent, went for her. The, the fact that she was a blue defender was enough to make me go for her because I'm a blue defender main. <laughs> Speaking of that. For character support, we are rocking 158% support with the Attacker, Straw Hat, Paramecia, Captain, New World, Worst Generation tags. If you're wondering why I'm running Law, ignore that. I'm grinding a title right now, so you will be seeing him in the gameplays, but I won't be using him, obviously. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you smash like button, subscribe, and turn post notifications. And I'll, of course, see you guys in the next video, alright? Peace out, everybody.
攻撃開始。攻撃開始準備完了しかましに来たのか一時透明転送
攻撃開始。